I'm here at uh, Robinson's Grocery Store, which is probably one of the more expensive uh, grocery stores you'll run into. Um, it's in the mall, and it's Robinson's. But um, it's convenient, and it's where a lot of expats will find themselves. Now, the funny thing is, I've talked before about how, how cheap food is uh, when you go out to the, um, you know, like to the markets or the streets and get street food. And, you know, and it is, it's pretty cheap. You can get some cheap barbecue and there's even some pretty nice restaurants that you can get uh, lunch or dinner pretty inexpensively. Now, I like to cook about eh, maybe two nights out of the week, uh, sometimes three, just depends on how much projects I have going at the house. But, um, when I do cook, um, there's some things, especially the imported things, and that's what I wanted to show you today, uh, is things that are a little bit more expensive here. Um, and so not, not all food is cheap, and so I'm just going to show you some of the items that I think are a little bit more expensive than maybe you're used to back home. And depending on if you have to have to have these things, you know, just expect it's going to cost a little more. Um, if you notice the uh, the music here, uh, this is your basic grocery store. Kind of sounds like a nightclub, actually, uh, with the kind of music that they play. Anyways, um, I'm over here uh, where a lot of the imported stuff is. One of the things that kind of stuck out to me was uh, Parmesan cheese. Okay, now I'll give you the ballpark figure, and then I'll later on I'll add it here at the bottom the actual calculated amount. But um, this is not, you know, this is kind of like an average size jar. 391 uh, pesos so we're talking about let's see some uh, you know put some on your pizza or whatever um, now over here you got for like 350 a um, a jar of uh, smuckers it's a pretty small jar I mean it's barely fits in my hand and um, and 168 pesos yeah you're talking about roughly about 350 is my my ballpark guess and peanut butter uh, same thing you know we're looking at a a pretty small jar here. Uh, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't tell you how exactly how many uh, you know ounces or whatever. Uh, but you know, 161. So you're talking about 350 for uh, this size jar of Jif peanut butter. Uh, candy is another one. Um, if it's an American chocolate, like here we got this is like the the small Snickers. Okay, it's about that big, 35 pesos. So just under a dollar, right about maybe 80 cents. Uh, for Snickers. Um, they do have Kit Kats and stuff. Uh, let me see. Here's a, a little six pack and that goes for 83 pesos. So we're talking for this here the, and these are tiny. Each one is about the size of my thumb and for six crunch bars you're basically talking two dollars. Two dollars for a little six pack. Um, here's uh, Kit Kat Bites which is full of air it's got maybe of these little Kit Kat bite things. It's probably got maybe about a dozen in there. And we're talking about $1.10 uh, at 45 pesos. Now these are more the local type chocolates. Um, like this one here is only 10 pesos. So we're talking like 20 cents. And yet it has about as much chocolate as the other Kit Kat thing I just showed you a bit ago. Uh, these are of course kind of like an M&M knockoff. 18 pesos, so about 35, 40 cents, you know, which is a more reasonable price, you know, but still like a little bit, a little bit expensive. The best deal I've come across is these Choco Muchos. Um, they come in, this is like the uh, vanilla chocolate or white chocolate, and this is the dark chocolate one. Um, they're especially uh, a good deal if you buy them by the box, the whole box. But if you just want one candy bar, you gotta, you know, like just, uh, you wanna eat something sweet. Um, I love these Choco Muchos. Um, and they're only like six, six and a half pesos, so we're talking about, oh, maybe 15 cents, you know, for a candy bar. If you're out in the province, uh, bug spray is pretty much a must uh, to deal with uh, roaches and stuff. Um, now, a can of Bagon goes for 164 pesos, so you're talking about maybe 350. It's actually cheaper to just buy, at some stores they sell you the, you know, the pump sprayer, and then you buy the, the actual Bagon fluid in a little bag. You put that into the sprayer, and it ends up being like half the price. Um, and then once you have the sprayer, you know, it's, it's then you're only talking about maybe 80 cents for a refill. So if you're going to be in the province and you need Bagon or you're going to use Bagon, um, this is the expensive way to go. Much better to just get the, the little pump thing 
and uh, the refills. Um, spam is a real big hit here. I've seen some places that have up to like 10 different types of spam. Now, uh, here's a, that's the less sodium one, but uh, you know, here we got spam at 104, so you're talking about about $2.10 for one can of spam. Um, over here, we've got, uh, this was like a big favorite of mine when I was growing up as a kid. Um, $2, yeah, about $2. I don't know what it's going for now over in the States, but eh, it's 94 pesos, so yeah, about $2.15 roughly for a little thing of deviled ham.